And so we'll talk a little bit now about bilinguals, bilingualism, biliteracy, and translanguaging. There has been some changes in our views of bilinguals and bilingualism and how we understand them uh, in terms of being emergent and sometimes experienced bilinguals. Because you get a student into a classroom who's an emergent bilingual, but you have others who are more experienced bilinguals who have their two languages more fully developed than the emergent bilingual. And the views are the balanced view and the holistic view. So let's explore those two. The 20th century view was that the goal was to produce two perfect monolinguals, that you would be a monolingual of Spanish and a monolingual of English, that you could function to produce balanced bilinguals who are equally proficient in two separate languages. Sometimes I'm more proficient in one language than I am in the other, depending on the context. The context changes our level of proficiency. So this idea that we can be equally proficient in both languages was the view that we've been working under and that was called the balanced view of bilingualism. More and more, we're moving towards the holistic view of bilingualism. And the work of Dr. Garcia and so many others see bilingualism as dynamic. Our languages continuing and evolving um, with each other. And so uh, an integrated whole who cannot, be who cannot easily be decomposed into two separate parts, who has a unique and specific linguistic configuration. This view goes one step beyond, that we have one language system with features that are continuous and features that are socially constructed as English and then Spanish.